So today we're going to be doing a comparison video between the Boss DS1 distortion and the Boss DS2 turbo distortion. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Guitar Manifesto channel, hope you're all doing well. So today we're going to be doing a comparison between these two Boss Distortion pedals. We've got the, the DS1 and the DS2 Turbo Distortion. Now I get asked a lot in the comments section um, what the difference is between these two pedals, which one's better. In terms of price, there's not a lot in them. They sort of vary in price between 50 to 60 pound. I'm pretty sure there used to be a big difference. This used to be about 10, 15 pound more expensive, but they seem to be roughly around the same price now, depending where you shop. They do vary a lot. Me personally, I haven't played a DS1 since probably about 1998. Um, I started playing in 92. That was one of my first pedals I ever got. Um, in fact, it was my first pedal I ever got. Then a couple of years later, I upgraded to the DS2. I still had both of them and I was still sort of using both. Um, for some reason, I stuck with a DS2 and I've been using that ever since. In terms of what they sound like, I really can't remember to be honest, so we'll We'll sort of figure that out today. So in terms of the pedals themselves, they're pretty much the same size. Uh, that's a slightly darker orange. These are made in Taiwan models. Um, the DS1, you've got the tone, the level, distortion. You've got the same again on the Boss DS2, you've got the level, the tone, distortion. But on the DS2, you've also got a turbo mode, which gives you a bit more mid-range punch. It's also got a remote input, so you can put a Boss uh, switch pedal in so you can switch between the two turbo modes which is a great little feature if you want a little bit of a, a boost for a lead solo. So the general consensus is the Boss DS1 sounds the same as the DS2 if you have it in Remote 1 but then you put it into Remote 2 and that gives you a mid-range boost. Again it's switchable so you can put a switch in to change between the two. But for today's demo what I'll do I'll keep the level and tone at 12 o'clock on both of them. I'll start the distortion at 12 o'clock, so I'll start off with the DS1, then I'll go to the DS2 on Remote 1, and then I'll do DS2 Remote 2. Then I'll go 3 o'clock on the distortion, do the same again, and then go full on distortion, and then we'll go for the three different sounds. So, yeah, three different positions to play with, see which one sounds the best out of the lot. And so, next thing, plug them in, see what they sound like.
So there you go, that was a comparison between the Boss DS1 distortion and the Boss DS2 turbo distortion. Interestingly enough, um, I think that actually sounded a bit nicer in the room. I'll have to look back on this video. It just sounded a little bit more biteier. I think it'll cut through better in the mix, which I'm actually quite surprised about because I normally like position two on the DS2, which gives you a bit more of a fuller sound. But actually, in the room, I prefer the sound of that. There was also a definite increase in volume on the DS1. I will level it out in a video just so it you know evens the video up. But this was a fair bit louder than the DS2, so that's interesting. It could be a variant that these are modern versions. The earlier Japanese versions may sound a bit different, but yeah, so that was my opinion on these. Let me know in the comments below what you think to them, which you think sounded best, the DS1 or the DS2. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. But it was definitely an interesting one. Before I even made the video, DS2 has been my favourite pedal for a very long time. And I'm actually swayed towards the DS1. So let me know again in the comments section below what you think to them. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram, The Guitar Manifesto. I also have another channel, The Meat Manifesto, where I've started doing more music and guitar videos, so please be sure to subscribe to that as well. Also, check the links in the description below for things like Guitar Manifesto merch, and that'll probably do for today. So thanks for watching. See you all soon. Peace. Guitar Manifesto.